on September 12, 2009, he fought Ted Worthington on the Doonland Classic, I might add. That was yep. one of the events that Keith and I initially had started. And eventually, mm -hmm. I kept cutthroat. He kept Doonland, and we, you know, we worked together. Um, what do you recall about that fight? Man, it was, it was another pound. I think he missed weight by five or six pounds. Yeah. He thought it was uh, – he thought the fight was at 170, he said, and, you know, like six pounds, <laughs> and guy. Um, and it's one of those things where as a fighter, it's tough because I, I wasn't very happy with the weight, how the weight was. You know, that's a big difference. He was a bigger guy than his. He mostly fought at 170. Um, but it's one of those things that got how many tickets you sell. You know, I sold probably 200 tickets that night. Uh. Oh, turn all the tickets. <clears throat> I don't know it's not going to happen. So, you know, the guy, I'll take this fight. And uh, he, you know, he didn't have a great record. I knew he was a bigger guy. Um, he had pretty good power. And the other thing I remember about that night, it was an outdoor event, right? So oh. that was that day. It was one of those raining off, off and on rain. So the mat was real slick that day. And uh, he caught me with a big, I want to say it was, it was a right hand or an uppercut, one of the two. And he dropped me for a split second. And I hit my knees, and I pop right back up. I'm probably about five or six feet away from them. I had my hands up, and they stopped the fight. Now, you know what I mean? I slipped a little bit because it was raining, but that was it. You know what I mean? And then even the ref said that oh. night, he's like, man, he's like, sorry. He goes, I know it was a bad stoppage. But I mean, it's at the point where, you know how MMA is. The MMA is crazy, so you just got to kind of go with it. And you know, I learned from that position.